Where am I putting this? Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Uh, you can put it on the side here so we can see. So it's on. Oops. It's fine. It's been recording for the last yep. minute. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Does the same thing three times and still doesn't realize that it's doing. All right. <sighs> Hi, Eddie. guys. Welcome to Michelle's Mighty Munchy Madness. Wait, no, 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 you, did, no, you didn't do it. Oh, we should add madness. <laughs> That's a fifth M. Please stand by. Hey, guys. Welcome to Michelle's Many Mighty Munchies. Of madness. Um, no, we put the M in there. It's madness. Anyway, what are we doing today? I don't know. What are we doing today? Seriously? We're making dinner. Well. <laughs> okay, we are making dinner. You're watching this video and going, what the, what are we making? I, I mean, your mom is the primary viewer of this, so she, she's probably like, you two are idiots. Just do something. <laughs> anyway, we are making, what are we making? What is it called? Oh my God. Pork Wellington. There you go. <laughs> We're making pork wellington today. And how do we make pork wellington? Well... <laughs> <laughs> I like how you look to me. I'm not even on yes, screen. Yes, you are. You're right there. <laughs> all right. So we've got all our ingredients out. Uh, you're going to need one pork tenderloin. Our pack came with two. Oh, gosh, you're heavy. So there's two pork tenderloins. Um, prosciutto. The fancy man's ham. Mush, uh, mushrooms? We're doing mushrooms. You don't usually need to include the mushrooms. A mustard. Mustard? I'm not showing you the brand. Mustard. Uh, a type of dried fruit. We're using apricots, but mm. I believe the original recipe called for dried apples. apples. So we'd like to change it up a bit. Uh, we don't have any more dried apples. The Seven Dwarfs said it's not a good idea. And puff pastry. And a puff pastry. Um, those are your main ingredients. Uh, other things will be butter, salt, pepper, you know, seasonings. Yeah. So first thing you do, you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. What is it? Let that go. While that's going, Michelle is going to cut off the silver skin while I explain what silver skin is. Or Which Michelle's going to stare at it. <laughs> Which Pick, one? Get the bigger one. The bigger one? Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I'm trying to ask which one. You're going to get through to there. All right. So, silver skin on a pork, on a tenderloin is all the white fatty bits. So, you can see that big chunk of white right there. And basically, what you want to do, you want to work your knife under the, the fat there and just kind of shave it off it you'll have yeah it, it's kind of disgusting but it will help with the um the chewiness of the meat and it will clean it up nicely um what's nice about this we actually got this recipe originally from a cookbook from elton brown uh from good eats i don't even know if <laughs> that's even a relevant thing anymore <laughs> Um, but we've, since we've made this quite a few times, we've modified Altered it. So many times. So. Either based on the temperature or what we put in it. Yeah. Basically, we used his, uh, his, um. As guidelines. Yeah. It's more what you call guidelines than actual rules. Welcome aboard. His layout as a guideline, um. So, Michelle's having some issue getting into the silver skin. If you cut into the meat, it's not a big deal. Um, I believe Elton actually uses a... Um, paring knife. Paring, either a paring knife or a... Uh, what is the one for the... A meat knife? Uh, a boning knife for, like, fish. You know, it's like that curved one uh -huh. that we have that we don't use. Ever. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. We have one, well, we just don't use it. 
All right, so All right. we're going to, while well, Michelle's prepping that. All you and, see is me prepping that. And you probably also saw me scratching my butt. <laughs> which means I have to wash my hands. How oh, hands? <laughs> Come over here and get washed. All right. The southern We're going aisles. to take a frying pan. I'm going to <coughs> whack. <laughs> no, I'm going to um, prep the mushrooms. So wash your hands, wash your mushrooms, wash your Michelle. I already took a shower today. She, she's like a cat, so you have to really make sure that she gets in there. Uh, but be careful, she has claws. Don't cats have claws? Last time I checked, I got scratched by one. <laughs> okay, oven's ready. We're not even close to being ready. No, we're not. Okay, so this is a lot of mushrooms prepped. Mushrooms! You're going to basically want... I cook the mushrooms usually and then mince, uh, mince them up. You can see. <laughs> Man grab the freaking thing. Well, I'm not woman grabbing it. I'm a man. Ah, you're a manly man. Okay. So, real simple. If you're trying to figure out how to. So, basically, you're sauteing mushrooms. High heat. Um, just to start it off, you really don't want to cook the mushrooms on high heat. But I want to heat up the pan. You're going to add some butter or butter. oil. It's your choice. Butter better. I like butter better. Better, better butter. butter um, better. And then we're going to saute the mushrooms once the butter is melty. All right. Bubbly bubble. Butterly butter. Why don't you put the paper towels away over there? <laughs> it's almost like we weren't completely prepared for this. <laughs> And I swear it had nothing to do with the fact that you fell asleep. Mm, maybe me. Okay, well, um, well, that's going. We're going to get the pan. Get the pan. We, I like using parchment paper. You can use tin foil as well. Mm. So, as you can see, the butter is bubbly. It's not quite all melted yet. The shell is short and trying to get stuff off of a high shelf. Okay, take your mushrooms, add them. Do not worry if you have what looks like a lot of mushrooms, they will shrink. Mushrooms actually have quite a lot of water in them. So add some salt to it. So if you add some salt while they're cooking, they'll lose a lot of that water as well as season the mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. So our mushrooms, as you probably can't see, are pretty much Cooked. There's just a little water left in them. I'm going to drain them and then we add them to our food processor over off screen. There you go, right there. Food processor. Michelle's in the way. I'm not in the Oh, I guess I am in the way. Hold on. We're just adding it here. Okay. It's already seasoned. As you can see, it's very hot. Yes, it is. And you just want to basically puree it. Whoosh. I'm going to just push it down a little bit more. Okay. We're going to move that off to the side. I'm going to leave the lid off because we're going to need it cooler. Yes. So we can work with it. Yes. All right. So next. Uh, next we're going to move some stuff around. We're going to cut our pork tenderloin. <gasps> Michelle's decided, Michelle is now on camera duty. So we were talking about it. We're going to cut off the tail part here. Um, so just like that. That we can use for something else. We'll probably just cook it. For the cats. For ourselves. For the cats. Cats don't deserve any food. Okay, then you want to slice it in half because you're going to be basically stuffing the pork tenderloin. So, two what? halves now. Yes, you could technically use 
the one big, the two individual ones, but it's just easier to work with it like this. Flour? And dirty the counters after just cleaning it? Yes, I don't know how I ended up taking over your... I don't know. Your responsibility for this. Because so, you know what you're doing and I don't. You just kind of spread it out a little bit. You're going to need it to try and keep your puff pastry from sticking to your, your work surface. AKA your counter. Oh, you got it all over the go. Rolling pin. You don't really need a roll. Well, you need a, some type of rolling material. You can use even a wine bottle. If you have it. If you have it. We don't. Nope. But I'm okay. just letting you know. Our puff uh, pastry is a little beat up. Seen better days. But essentially what you're doing is you're just rolling out your puff pastry. And it has to be cold. Right? Uh, room temperature is fine. Oh, it never mind. just room can't be frozen. Trust me. Rolling out frozen puff pastry is impossible. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it's possible. As you can see, though, ours has definitely seen better days. Uh, the whole idea is just to get it bigger. I'm moving stuff out of our way because this is to wrap around your tenderloin. tenderloin. You're going to want to kind of just coat it. Coat it. You're going to take a brush and brush it on there. And brush it in. You're doing some painting. Try and like coat the whole thing. Well, not the whole whole thing, but as much of it as you can. A nice thick coat. Not too thick. Because this is going to help it adhere to your tenderloin. But you have to do the mushrooms. And the mushrooms will help as well. Right. A spoon usually will work. <laughs> spoon it. Spoon it onto your puffed pastry. That is not puffed, but it is pastry. And you kind of want to make a layer of this. Spread it out best you can. I was, I'm not too sure if we have enough. I think we do. Hopefully. Good? Uh, gonna have to be. <laughs> I don't have any more. <laughs> oh well. So it's... Good enough. Good enough is the theme of today. Isn't it always the theme though? Uh, no, sometimes it's, well, eh. <laughs> ah. Okay, stop playing with it. I'm trying to just spread it out a little bit more. Again, if Chef Ramsay sees this, run away, Chef. Run away. He's knocking on the door magically all of a sudden. It's like, I get like, I'll get fired. <laughs> I don't work for him. I'll get fired. Okay. Next, the one of the hardest parts, opening the prosciutto. Do you want me to do it? No. You want me to do anything? Well, you... You told me I'm taking over for your for your uh, cooking channel today, so no. <laughs> mm -hmm. T too. All right, so take your prosciutto take one your, layer at a time. Or in my case, it's super sticky, which is weird. Usually, pr fresh uh, like the prosciutto isn't sticky. You can get fresh, but we got the pre. Well, our store didn't have fresh. I'm sorry. We got pre-packaged. But you can get pre-packaged. We're not fancy. We're not fancy at all? Apparently. All right, and we're just adding the prosciutto. Next layer. Next to it. Come on. Oh, there you we mean go. on top of it? Yeah, next to each other. Yes, and on top of the mushroom and the, mayo, uh, the mustard. Why am I saying mayo? I don't know, you said mayo like four times while we were trying to discuss what goes into this recipe. Do I want mayo or something? Uh, I don't think mayo would go well right now. Mustard or mayo? Mustard or mayo? Mustard or mayo? Um, I think we have enough space for one more prosciutto. Okay, if you say so. Okay, there we go doesn't have to look nice, it just has to be on there. <laughs> You're eating it anyway. So one... So then you take... One your, tenderloin. 
your tenderloins, not to be confused with those tenderloins, the uh, guys from, who, uh, not Who's Line, from um, Impractical, Impractical Jokers. Oh, I was like, wow. You know, the tenderloins. Okay. All right. Now the last part. Can I do it? No, you're holding the camera. Here. Oh, no. Okay. I can do it. Taking the apricots. Uh, yeah, yes, apricots. apricots. And we're putting them in between the two pieces of the pork tenderloin. Um, Again. Kind of however you want as long as they fit in. Ta-da! Okay. You want more in there? No, that's fine. Okay. Instead of finishing the project, now Michelle decides she's going to snap. Okay. So now we're going to... Roll it up? Roll them. How? With your hands. Didn't work. You didn't clap right. Oh yeah? Yeah. Alright. Show me. Go ahead. I dare you. How are you supposed to do it? And there you go. Show off. Alright. Um, as you can see, and we were worried about this, you can see that our puff pastry is start is going bad. You can see all the spots that it's super thin on. Your puff pastry should not look like that. And you can definitely feel when a puff pastry is going bad. Um, basically, it will feel... Like that. Stiff. And not because it's still cold. All right, so I'm going to take... You want me to correct? Hot pan. I'm going to take... The pork tenderloin, which is now technically a pork Wellington, put it on there, and then we beat an egg. We beat an egg. Michelle's going to do this part. Now Michelle's going to take an egg. I took an egg. She's going to crack it over her head. What? Here, watch. No. <laughs> the beat up egg gets an egg wash. Wait, the beat up egg gets an egg wash. Yes. I stand by my statement. <laughs> Let's go. All right, egg wash done. Done. Now Next. what? We have an oven. We have an oven. And we have uncooked food. Uncooked food. What do we do with it? We put... We, call, <laughs> we throw it in the garbage and call somebody who knows what they're doing. <laughs> we call for help. <laughs> I stick it in. A locksmith. Call the locksmith. No, so we add it to the oven. That's set for 400. And it's then, already at 400. Oh. And then for 45 minutes... It sits there. Or in our case, since we our oven heats unevenly, uh, closer to like 30 and turn it around. 15 after you turn it around or so. <laughs> and now for something completely different. Yeah. As a grumpy kitty. What's a grumpy kitty doing? As a needing all the scratches. You play? Play? Play! Stormy play! 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 Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Yell at the cat enough time, she'll play. Oh. Or <laughs> try to take the thing that's annoying her away from me. Who's a cute kitty? Who's a cute kitty who's now got bluish white fur on her? Boy. The Alright, guys. Um. It's done. Almost an hour later. That's, That's what, what it looks like. It should not explode like that out of the top. Ours, or the sides. Our puff pastry was bad, like I was worried. We also made a risotto. Ramsey. Information for that is not going to be anywhere because I'm not doing a video on risotto. Nope. And we have we have basically our dinner. I don't know why I'm showing you all the sides and everything. I don't So next thing we're gonna do, well Michelle's gonna get plates out. But we're going to transfer it over onto our cutting board. Make it pretty. 
I could pray. Have you seen this? It looks <laughs> the least pretty. Oh, I don't think it's cooked all the way. It's. Oh. Hold on. Maybe. Oh yeah, that's cooked. So there's a cross section. A cross section. Um, again, our puff pastry was bad. So the whole thing kind of fell Split. apart. <laughs> but it's going in your stomach anyway, so it's fine. Oh, I thought this was going on YouTube. Well, yeah, but stomach too. Let's, let's present our failures to YouTube. <laughs> Ramsey will be not proud. Okay. Well, the end was laughably empty of meat. Uh, All right. Well, that's that. All right, guys. So we finally finished, and we're going to go eat. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is Wandering Shell and Ronan Will. And we'll see you guys next time on Michelle's Many Mighty Munchies Madness. There. You, everyone, we're going to add an M too, so don't get used to the name. <laughs> and we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.